What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of our Southampton career mode playthrough here. And we are picking up where we left off last time. We played one game last time. We got a 2-1 win over AC Milan as well as made some bids for some players. Now I want to get through the rest of the preseason today when it comes to this tournament here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sim this game and then hopefully get in three games if we get that far into the tournament and see where else we can go. So we're going to go ahead and take a sim on this match. Just use the regular lineup. Ruben Kazan beat Villarreal 2-1 last time out. We'll see if we can get ourselves at least a point. Looking to go into the last game, just needing a point. And Redmond scores early, 14th minute. Hopefully that holds. And it does not less the end for Ruben Kazan, who's moved all over the place less the end. Um, come on. Oh, we trail now 2-1. Alex Song, if we can pull one back. Can we? We got 20 minutes. 10 minutes. P8. All right. Comes up big. and Nice. A 2-2 draw. Um, Milan look like they've beaten Villarreal. So Villarreal are out. So what we got to do in the last game is match. Milan is what it looks like. Or match anyone. A win would obviously do it. But we'll see what actually happens. See if we get further enough in. Or not. Ryan Bertrand, offer. We're going to reject all offers. He's a major part. Just signed a new contract from what I remember, so no. West Brom have accepted a $10.5 million uh, bid for Saito Barahino. Um, they're reviewing. They feel the fee is fair, but not decisive on letting him spend a period alone and leaving the club. Okay, so we'll hold on to the Arsenal offer as they are taking a look around. And we'll hold on to the Gooch offer. So let's see if we can get him into the club. He wants 50k a week. I tend to just let the wages go. They get whatever wages they ask for. We'll see if we can get Barahino into the club. And he'll compete with Long for the starting spot. And we'll hold on to the other ones and see. I believe last time we also had a bid accepted for Wilfred Zaha. Um, international manager we're going to skip. Accepted for Afali. And Zaha has accepted his contract. So here we are. And it looks like we're going to be able to bring in Afali and Barahino. Assuming those happen. And then we'll see about Gooch. Or, yeah, we'll see about Gooch or Adelaide. One of those two will come in and that'll be it for transfers. We're going to get the transfers out of the way early. So we swap him out, move him forward and up. Let's see, someone's got to go to the bench. We've got to send a defensive mid. Zaha. So we're going to put Zaha here, and that's what the lineup is going to look like at the moment. And Zaha and Redmond will definitely get his chances, and he'll definitely play anywhere along the front three. And that's it's no worries. It's a long season. we got plenty of games in Europe and um, in the uh, Premier League here, and as well as the English Cup. So we're going to get a lot of game time there'll be lots of chances to move all over the place and we'll get the snodgrass one out of here as we've gotten him and Afali accepted he gets paid 69k and wants 70. <laughs> all right and uh, we'll get Afali in that's good depth he's uh, he's not going to be replacing Tadic or Bufal so that's definitely depth for what we got here but it looks like we got our game against Villarreal. Transfer offer for Classy. No thank you. He's not going anywhere as well. We're looking not to send anybody out except a couple of young kids on loan. But um, but the squad itself is coming together a little bit as we wanted to uh, move forward into this season with tons of games. So we're going to jump into the Villarreal game. See if we can get ourselves into the semifinal stage. Hopefully out and go ahead and get to the final of this tournament. So let's jump right into it. All right, here we are. Southampton versus Villarreal as we try and get out of the group. Uh, draw would most likely do it as we are, well, draw will do it, won't it? So all we need is a draw here, get us out of the group, get into the semifinals. We've got Zaha on the starting lineup here. Sherry Shev, as you can see, starting or playing at least for Villarreal. Zaha getting his debut as we move on forward looking for that draw and looking to uh, get to the semifinals of this tournament and hopefully win it. It's 
win it in the end. Let's see if we can get them to give the ball away once again in their half. We do like to press and try and move and get that ball. Not leave gaps at the back as we push forward and press. But, oh, oh, what a great tackle. Holy crap. I had to stop there. I thought that might have been a penalty. But here's Zaha. Swings it in. Nice. See if we can move forward in the midfield. Yes, we can. Here's Shane Long. He's got a little bit of pace about him, but so does Zaha. Here comes Zaha. Oh, good tackle. Okay. Tacking throw. 26 minute, not any real chances. Um, as we try. Here's one, though. Oh. Too high, too straight. But we did get, create a ch bit of a chance there, a bit of an opening. Oh, Zaha, push up. Damn, see. Oh, God, I love the pressing, but you guys got to push. Push on that. Push on that. We get to add. Yeah, into added time here now. <laughs> Two minutes. And before, right before halftime, they have a corner. Oh, let's not concede here. Shall we? Let's not concede here, shall we? There we go. Get out. Blow the whistle. We're going to halftime here. Yeah, halftime it is. Not too much in the way of chances for either team. Probably one or two each. Um, Saw on his debut. Hasn't got going quite yet. We're actually going to keep him out there. We're going to try some subs here as we get Austin in the game for long. And then we have... Um, we'll put Redmond... Then we'll try Redmond. So let's try Hoiberg as well as Classy. And then Jay. Um, P8. I don't know if it's P8 or. I think it's P8. I would think it is. But, um, and Yoshida. I'm for Font. He's running out a little bit, and Van Dyke seems to be okay. So, here we go. We've got a couple subs, six or seven, as we look for the winner here. It is a preseason game, as I said. The result does not matter necessarily, but ooh, that 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 kind of matters. Let's not get done by that too often, shall we? Oh, that's a good win. Ooh, that would could have been insanely unlucky. That's a good opening. Oh no, they got they must have got tipped or something. It must have got tipped because that was dreadful. Here we got an opening here. Has a crack. Oh shoot! How many times I gotta press B? Oh, you gotta shoot. Da, da, da. Oh, at least a shot on target. We started off the second half quite well. Really pushing Villarreal. Here, we'll just have a crack. Oh, that's gone in. <laughs> Charlie Austin. What a shot that is. Oh, that's what they bought him for. Maybe he doesn't link up play as much as Southampton are used to, but that is a great strike. And that's given us a 1-0 lead and a really great position to get into the semifinal. That is a great, great strike. I didn't think that was going to go in. I kind of just wanted a shot. We've had a couple of chances there without getting a shot off. But we got the shot off that time, and that's a great finish right in the corner. Side netting. Ooh, so close to the keeper, but yet so far away. And that's in. And that's a good goal from Charlie Austin. And there we are celebrating away as we get ourselves into the lead against another European side, Villarreal. Very nice. Off to a good start so far this preseason. Let's hope we don't get hit back. We're not going to be like Milan and not get hit back immediately. Hmm. Oh, that's a good ball. Damn it. Oh, come on. We didn't want to get hit back right away. And immediately, Bakambu is in, and that's a great finish as well. Uh, that's a good goal. That's just... Oh, we cannot. Cannot. Oh, look at that finish. That's magnificent. We cannot concede goals every single time we score. That just cannot happen. Forster, no chance. Jesus, look at that finish. Oh, man. It's off to a good start there in the second half, and that's a dreadful, dreadful. We cannot be conceding goals immediately after scoring. 
It just can't happen. Get to it. There we go. Zaha, good win. Zaha, good ball. Oh, good save. Uh, to be fair, it was right at him, but that was good play. That's what we like. We like to press and win the ball back high up the pitch. That was good play. Better finish next time, but that was good play. It's a good save, to be fair. Oh, there's Zaha again. Zaha again. Oh, tripped. Bloody tripped that time. Very good play. That I liked. That I liked. It was classy. Redmond. Oh, oh taken away from him. I thought I had a... I was about to have a clear shot on goal. Didn't, I guess not. So you can hold him in place. Not what I meant. Can we get one more opportunity? Nope. Give away. And that's the end. That's 1-1. One, one, which will get us through to the next round. Assuming a 7-7 seven, seven draw didn't happen in the other game. It was an okay game. Just a few chances. Nothing overly fantastic. We did have that one really nice bit of play where he took the ball. It's a good save in the end by the Villarreal goalkeeper, but Milan have beaten Kazan 3-0 anyway, which puts us through to the semifinals. Two games left in this tournament. Bilbao, the first one, and I believe the other semifinal, yes, Milan. Oh, Milan got through. Hmm. Milan and Sporting. So we got some decent teams left in this tournament. A tournament we can win, though. We have beaten Milan already. And hopefully we can get ahead and get the win. Let's take a look at the office and see what we have in here. Contract offer accepted from Saito Barahino, which is fantastic. Here to compete with Shane Long. We're going to play him in the next game and see how that goes. And it looks like Arsenal have accepted the loan to buy. And then you'll have the option to purchase him for $1 million. That's pretty cheap for Adelaide. Um, after two years as well, so we have two years to see if we're going to use him or not, and then he can go back to Arsenal if need be. Got some money there, so the Dini is done, Linden Gooch seems to be done as well, and we've got all our signings as of right now. Here's Barahino. Let's, uh, bring him up here. Is Grove McCarthy, and then we'll bring him up. It looks like Charlie Austin will drop to the bench. I do like to have three strikers and things like this. And then it seems you will move up. All right, so these two, we're going to see what happens here because I'd like to, um, I might send one of them out on loan. Heskett, obviously, because we have Adelaide out on are here in the club so we'll see what actually happens we'll play a couple games here see if we can get both of them into the team in the next game and then we'll be able to uh, take a look from there but it looks like we're done with our transfer business for now which is quite good um, 15 million transfer budget still which is quite nice we can use the rest of it on the youth squad so we can do that right now here we got a good one um, this one's a decent one as well, and then we can go one more, spend it up anyway. Ooh, look at that one. All right, Esposito. Looks like uh, we are going to have three good scouts out there uh, for our U squad, which is quite nice. Um, but we do, oh, we have Aphelai to bring in too. I forgot we didn't accept Aphelai, did we? Um... Hmm. <laughs> I completely forgot about him, didn't I? Um, let's go to the budget real quick and uh, see what we have here. Budget. 20 million. Oh my god, I completely forgot about Aphelai. Alright, well we'll keep that change and then we'll see if we can get some loanies going in and out the door. So we could... Um, afford Aphelai again. I can't believe I've made that mistake. Um, but we don't have anybody I can sell. As I said, we're actually going to hold on to everyone. We're actually going to send him out on loan as well. So here are the people I have currently and um, the people that are going out on loan down here. Here they are. So hopefully we can get enough. We can get Reed Isgrove out on loan. 
Should have enough to bring Aphelai in. Can't believe I've made that mistake, but let's go ahead and jump into the player development. Alright, so let's simulate it up. Two for Ward Prowse, two for Brufal, one for Hesketh. And ADDCA. So not too bad. Bufal went up a little bit on his vision and short pass. Hesketh went up a little bit and Ward Prowse didn't do too well, but he should um should jump up next time around. But we do have the Bill Bow match coming. And we do need some uh, offers to come in. I completely forgot about Aphelai. But if we don't get Aphelai, that's not too huge of a problem. We did get Adelaide in anyway. But let's go ahead and jump into our Bill Bow game. Hopefully we get a new signing into the game, Mr. Barahino. And we'll take a look. A couple changes to the first team as we got Barahino in. Redmond in for Zaha. The midfield looks the same. Um, Bertrand is in. Target will get second half. So Bertrand's only in for 45 minutes. Gardos is in for Van Dyke. McCarthy in for Forrester. Martina in for Cedric. So let's jump right into this game and see if we can advance onto the final. All right, here we are. Bill Bow and Southampton as we look to advance to the final. Hopefully we can. I'd love one more game before the regular season. If not then then we don't advance to the final the regular season will start in the next video regardless of whether we advance here or not and we do have to work out a solution for the Aphelai thing but for now we'll see if we can jump right into it okay there we go Barahino keeping possession ah come on oh he's hurt oh who is that who was it uh, no, 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 they got a break here as well. That's a good save, McCarthy. Oh, Ward Prowse is hurt. Oh, oh no. We didn't want to see any of that. We really did not want to see any of that. But we'll give our preseason debut to Romeo. Hopefully, hopefully. Ward Prowse is okay. Steven Davis. Can we step? Can we step to him? That'd be lovely. Jesus Christ. It's DeMarcos. That would have been a terrible, terrible goal to concede. Oh, it still might be. That's a great save. That still might be. That's dreadful. Yeah, step up to him. What's the point of the right bumper if they don't like go up to him? What a waste. Clear it out. There we go. Good punch from McCarthy. Fortunately, it's back in. Good block. Hopefully, we get our counterattack off. Looks like we might. Here's Redmond waiting. Oh, you're going to blow the whistle, ref. That's fucked up. Martina was a little bit in there. Just a little bit. As Milan are beating Sporting, we might have Milan in the final should we get there. Now, we're going to make a couple of subs. Adelaide coming in. Hesketh is J. Um, Target coming in for Bertrand. He's getting quite tired. He's played quite a bit. Yoshida in for Font. That's what the team looks like. Actually, you know what? The team does not look like that. Redmond a bit tired, so we'll bring in Hoiberg anyway. Okay, so all six subs used. Second half underway as we look to get to the final. Had some good play in the first half. Swings that ball in. Oh my god. Get to it, McCarthy. Okay. Oh, that's a really bad throw. Okay, we've won the ball back though. Oh, and giving it straight back. Oh, he's in here. And he scored. Oh, giving up a late goal on a dumb, dumb giveaway. This is what happens when you give the ball away. Oh, Christ, they tear you up, and that's good play, but that's such a stupid, stupid giveaway. It's going to knock you out of a goddamn tournament. Unbelievable giveaway. Unbelievable. We cannot be giving the ball away like that. Oh, that's, oh, that's a dreadful, dreadful goal to concede, and a really, really dumb loss. That's a silly, silly loss. 
That's obnoxious. Well, that's our last preseason game, I think. Would have had Milan in the final had we gotten there. But that's such a silly, silly loss. I can't even tell you how ridiculous that is. We should not be conceding those goals. Especially even giving up those chances. That should definitely not happen. We have a couple things in the office. We got some prize money, actually. Ooh, three mil. Um, injured. Nine days. That's okay. That's okay. All right, I think we have enough for Barra Hino now after that. So let's go ahead and jump into the transfer budget. I have to keep it at 12 or 9 million. So there's 9.5. We do have the money. Perfect. All right. So we are going to keep a hold, or we are going to end up with Aphili. So Will Wood. Out on loan, Mr. Wood. And they're actually going to sim our way up to... Here we go. We're going to sim our way up to the regular season. In the next episode, we'll start the regular season. Here we got Aphili. I am going to send Hesketh out on loan. I kind of wanted to keep him here, but Adelaide played great in the last game. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of space for everybody and we just bought in another attack in midfielder so where I am going to uh, I am going to uh, send him away on loan what do we got here we've got a lot of well we'll keep him here that's not a problem okay I can actually bring him in for Jay if I wanted all right we'll, we'll do it like that we'll, we'll, we'll do it that way for starters um, Ward Prowse will be back for the regular season hopefully we don't get any more injuries before that time and then we're gonna go ahead and send Hesketh out on loan and then we're gonna sim our way forward see if we can get some loanies out and doesn't start for another month so um, we do have time and thankfully he's not or thankfully Ward Prowse isn't gone for way too long let's find Hesketh and send him out on loan for a year. His contract expires in 12 months. We're going to have to fix that. And back they come. And we'll just do some trainings. Get some players in and out of the door. Transfer offer for McQueen. Number one right there to your loan. We'll bring these guys back and assess what actually happened. And uh, go from there with them. A lot of them don't get quite good in the game. And a lot of them aren't quite good to begin with so we'll s end up seeing what actually happens as Barahino has lost his promising player thing which is fun um, but yes we'll jump in and see what we could uh, do right now with uh, the training alright so here we go we gave Adelaide a couple Buffal two more and Hoiberg one okay not too bad not too bad Hoiberg is very close to 75 overall all right, we're getting up there. Looking pretty good on that. So let's see if we can skip forward a little bit. Here we go. Transfer offers for Cedric. New. No. It's not going anywhere, Mr. Cedric. And Ward Prowse. Definitely not going anywhere. He's going to be around the whole goddamn thing. Unless he gets transfer requests. Yeah, I gotta hate when that happens. All right, so let's see. See if we can get some more. We'll do some more. Um, we'll spur and Benzema. Um, do some more. Charlie Austin goes nowhere. We have a lot of games. Three strikers. It's where we need to be. Charlie Austin goes nowhere. Transfer offers again. Here's Isgrove goes out. All right, Lloyd. And Jay goes nowhere. Jay's one I'd like to keep here for a good majority of the time. Just the sentimental purposes, because he was quite good before the injuries got called up to England, or was just about to get called up to England, and uh, had a couple awkward things happen to him, and I'd like to just, even sentimentally, just keep him around, just to, just to see if we can uh, have a bit of fun with him. He's a decent player as well, so it's definitely not a bad thing to have him about. Is it? Let's get Adelaide a couple. 
And we'll get... What do we got back here? Cedric. Ooh, Van Dyke as well. We'll do Van Dyke as well. Keep forgetting about Van Dyke, who uh, is quite the good defender in real life. He really is. Bit shafted here with a 79 overall in game, but if he gets up and the promising player moves him up a little bit, that'd be quite good. Alright, so let's look. An A for Adelaide, who goes up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Very, very good from Adelaide. We do need to up that ball control because everything other than the ball control in the last one was really quite nice. The change of pace and everything else was really, really nice. So hopefully we can uh, we can make him quite into a good player. It was really fun to use. We got our monthly scouting update. Here we go. So let's take a look. Overalls. Okay, so we don't have. Oh, there's the potential. 93, 94. Okay, so let's get rid of you. 86s. I like this. It's 15, too. So we'll sign that one up. We'll hold on to the others for now. 77. Minimum 74 to 94, that's quite good. And then we'll jump into this. Give a couple more to Adelaide and a couple more to Buffal. Buffal, though, once we get him up here, we might have to swap him down to one because that is quite high. Um, Ward Prowse is back, we'll give him two more as well. He's about to be a 77, which is quite nice. Hopefully, we can jump him up into the uh, lower to mid 80s. As we uh, move forward with this, Ward Prowse once again. Get him some defensive duties as well, playing in the center of midfield. Adelaide as well. Sim it up. Okay, alright, well, he's moved up and overall very nice. Ward Prowse. Ufal is getting close as well. Agility at 92. Probably going to be done with the dribbling aspect of Buffalo's game because it looks to be a uh, set. Stamina will be a little bit better, I would like, but what can you do? But everything else looks super nice in that category, so we may not do that category anymore when we're doing the training for him. Looks like we're not getting any more transfers once we got rid of the transfers for the good players. They seem to have stopped coming, haven't they? So let's add Buffal again. But we're going to change it up on Buffal. We're not going to do the keep possession one. Or the beat your man. Um, here's the passing one. I would like him to up his passing. We'll go to Adelaide as well. We'll see how good Adelaide actually ends up getting. I'm really hopeful. Hopefully mid-70s would be quite nice. Um, Ward Prowse as well. We'd like to get him up as soon as possible. He's going to get two until the end of the damn career even if he doesn't get the promising thing anymore and it disappears two until the end of the damn career but for now let's go to Buffal done the passing shooting let's try some of the shooting okay so let's see if we can get anything hopefully nice come on guys A's and B's B D D D A D Buffal is quite close to moving on up Adelaide not too bad all right, we're getting close to our first game, too. I believe there it is on Saturday. So, ooh, Urzil off away from Arsenal. 69 million pounds. Jesus. That is a hell of a lot of money. Coleman as well, 20 million. All right, guys. Yoshida wants to play in the next match. We'll take a look at that when we get back. See what actually happens. I think on the debut, though, we're going to hold on on Yoshida. Going ahead and playing. But, guys... Next episode, we start the Premier League season. As we look, um, as we look at the calendar and check out our games here: Watford, and then Man United on Sunday, and then Sunderland are the first three games. As we move into it, and then we get Arsenal and some Europa League, uh, Europa League games. Lille, it looks like Aberdeen, and. Uh, Krasnodar. So it's a group we can definitely come out of. Look at that slate right here. Leicester, Burnley, Europa, City, and Chelsea. 
as we move deeper and deeper into the season. But for now, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing more of this career mode. And peace.